happens to wizards who fail as often as you have, don't you, Majika? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. They become teachers, Majika. Teachers? Oh, no, sir. Anything but that, sir. Teachers in Britland, Majika, where they languish unloved, undiscovered, unremarked upon. Never again to wizard. Never. Bye-bye, Majika. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, what a wizard. Settling in all right, Majika? Oh, yes. Settling in just fine, sir. Not a Walpurgian breakfast, Majika. Remember, you're a Britlander now. Cornflakes, Majika. And don't forget the milk. Very good, sir. How are you getting on with that new teacher of yours, Haney? Being a good boy for him, are you? Hope you're going to be a better boy for him than you were for poor Miss Jelly. Oh, there you are, Majika. And Mr. Potter. Theft. I see you've started collecting already. Uh, collecting, Mr. Potter? Feet. Fete. Fete. First of all, it's not a fete. It's a fete. Hey. It's a French word meaning festival day. Do you have festive days in all Pergus, Mr. Majika? <laughs> Do we? Oh, I'll say we do. Majika, come to volunteer. <laughs> what can I put you down for? Coconut shy? Plums and jams? All of them, sir. All of them, Majika? Yes, sir. Oh. Spartian, sir. Oh, but Thomas, just supposing. There's no use supposing, sir. You won't be. Mummy's always the Spartian. Look at the names. Mrs. Brace Girdle, Mrs. Brace Girdle, Mrs. Brace Girdle, Mrs. Brace Girdle. 
Oh, but just think how proud my worshipful wizard would be if I finally achieved something at last. Best Bartian. <laughs> Land magic. No. Magica. Volunteer? Oh, yes. Oh, Dash. Sure you know everyone here? <laughs> Do help yourself to nibbles, won't you? Well, now we're all uh, <clears throat> present and correct. <laughs> well, nearly all. Let's see who is going to volunteer for our various stalls. Myself, I put down for a spot of handbell ringing. It's always popular, isn't it? Every year. Hello? Somebody? Miss Haddock has agreed to man's savoury flans. And, of course, Mrs. Bigmore has agreed to reign once more as queen of our fate. <laughs> Don't appear to have a volunteer for the raffle table. I'll do it, sir. Oh, thank you, Mr. Majika. <coughs> Toffee apples, anyone? I'll do it. Oh. <coughs> Hot dogs? Popcorn? Stuffed toys? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Mr. Majika. <laughs> uh, cakes will, of course, as always, be in Bunty's capable hands. I can't think where she's got to. Um. Help! <laughs> On behalf of the governors of St. Barty's Academy, it, was a, it is with a deep feeling of honor that I am privileged once again to call upon Lord Barty to declare the 77th school fate open. Bunty. Bunty, how nice to see you again. Speech. What? You have to make the speech. Really? Open the fate. Oh, jolly good. Well, carry on, you chaps. a way to get things going with a swing than class three thrilling us all with some country dances. But Mum Dawson's pansy. If dancing isn't pansy, Hamish. And don't they look smart, ladies and gentlemen, in their little gingham kerchiefs and uh, cowboy scarves? First to do see do today is Hamish Pigsmore with his partner Fiona Nobbs Johnson.
Well, I'm sure we all wish that could have gone on forever, don't you? Now it's time to enjoy yourselves. And don't forget, the watchword for today is spend, spend, spend. Coffee apples? Get your coffee apples. Popcorn? Who's for popcorn? <laughs> Toys? <laughs> Why not have a toy? <laughs> it's all the <a> jack routine. <laughs> coffee apples? Two goes. Four goes. Six goes. Eight goes. Ten goes. Look, Mummy, it's me. I want the biggest one. Oh. In two hours, it'll all be over. Do you want one of Mr. Majika's nice toffee apples, Amy? No! To win something. To win everything. No, Thomas. Stay, Thomas. <laughs> well, how much are they then? Ten pence, I'm afraid, Thomas. They're a bit small, aren't they? Careful. Ten pence, please, Thomas. One hour and fifty-four minutes. They're not popping. Not popping. They're supposed to pop. Pop? Oh, pop, you say? Go on. One hour and forty nine minutes to be here. Mr. Majika, ice cream. Ice cream? Oh, ice cream! Oh, yes! <laughs> chop, chop! I think it's about time we had some Barty Bells, don't you? <laughs> my, my, I wouldn't have missed that for the world. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Barty Bells. And now we come to another star event. I mean, of course, another moving display by PC Bobby and his obedient dog, Trigger. Yes, once again, we're lucky enough to see this tip-top duo in action, showing us something of the skills of today's police force. And, uh, first of all, how to tackle a burglar. And today, our new school teacher, Mr. Majika, has agreed to be that burglar. Oh, no! He's not in this and all, is he, Melanie? He's in everything. What 
What a good sport he is, Mr. McGee. Well, what more can one say now except, go, Trigger, go? <laughs> oh, I say, <laughs> watch him go now. He's thinking about it. Oh, oh. By Jove, I'm sure we're all grateful knowing that Trigger's here to protect our animals. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Nearly got him then. <laughs> no escaping Trigger this time. Why does he do some magic to stop it? Oh, quick! Oh, quick! What an exhibition. Yes. I interviewed 79 teachers before I found him. <laughs> well, now. Uh, oh, yes. Now, just in front of Dr. Boxer's Tin Can Alley, you'll find Mrs. Bigmore's fatness, uh, fitness at 40, ladies, gathering for yet another lyrical display of maple dancing. Thank you. Oh. Oh, we do this dance in Walpurgis. doing for best Bartian? Well, uh, just about still in the running. And now, finally, thank goodness, we come to the main highlight of this afternoon's little potpourri. I am, of course, referring to the, uh, the, uh... Oh. Ah, Majika. Oh, Mr. Potter, a bit of a problem, Majika. Oh, but I would be delighted, sir. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, Majika. Well, now, this year's Queen of the Fate float will shortly be approaching from just behind Mrs. Fudd's ice cream. Our Councillor Bracegirdle has chosen for her theme this year, the Sprites of Summer. Well, isn't that nice of you? <sighs> but you don't know how to drive a tractor. Come along, lady. Ah, this is heavy. Up onto the stage. <laughs> my, my. Don't you look simply a ravi salt, Mrs. Bismarck? <laughs> and haven't the village hall curtains made up well? Maybe when you are, Mr. Baker. Oh. <laughs> and now the sprites of Saba are rapidly approaching. Big Bar is, of course, our main 
sprites of summer and is happily attended by a lesser sprite. <laughs> well, Mrs. Bracebird has really surpassed herself this year, hasn't she? A floating float. <laughs> what an original nautical twist. Heave ho, Bunting! <laughs> Mr. Potter, if it's better than last year. have had one of my blackouts. Oh, thank you, Mr. Uh, <laughs> Magica. Sir. Most grateful. Attention, everyone, please. Attention. I would like to call upon our guest of honor here today uh, to present our cup for best Bartian. Will it be Mrs. Place Girdle yet again? <laughs> Lord Barty. Uh, this sceptered isle, this Albion, land of the free, many a hero and heroine it has produced. Winnie the Churchill, Winnie the Pooh, but never in the whole history of much Barty has so much been owed by so many to one particular person here today. Striving against all odds, fired by that indomitable spirit that gave us blue birds over the white cliffs of Dover, crumpets, trumpets, muffin the mule, always keeping right on to the end of the road, keeping right on to the end. Though the road was long, his heart was strong, and he kept right on around the bend. He came, he saw, and in his own inimitable way, conquered the hearts of everyone here today. And what a popular choice, everyone. It's a dream come true. 